everybody. Welcome and thank you for joining us um, so early. Um, obviously, it's a little bit of a sad day in that we should have been all together at the expo at Detling. Um, it's typical expo weather, actually, in that it's raining. Um, but Nick is looking a lot more relaxed than he would be if, look, thumbs up. He's very happy. Right. Yes. Um, <laughs> he wore, you know, he's had a lot more sleep than he would have done if we were on the actual expo. But the expo will be back. We'll update you on that um, shortly. So we will kick off with our KCFG breakfast. So this morning, um, we are delighted to welcome our guest speakers. We have Adam Worrell and Richard Pickett from Wilmot Dixon. They are here to talk about building a more sustainable construction industry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right in, straight in. Straight in there, okay. <laughs> So today, um, we're for the expo, uh, donations with a difference were the uh, charity to be. So today um, we are the charity for, um, for for the conference. And if any of you don't know, donations with a difference is a charity that Ella and I are trustees of, and we're extremely proud to be. Um, and we um, there will be a link in the chat room, and we'll be talking about it as the day goes on. So keep keep listening and get your wallets out. And get your wallets out. Think about how much money you've saved by not going to the expo. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to save that money for next year, though, obviously, yeah. Nick, that's fine. So a quick look at our agenda for the morning. Um, we will take a look at forthcoming meetings and events, um, obviously most of them now remaining virtual for the foreseeable future. Um, and just a quick update on the Kent Construction Expo, as briefly mentioned, and then we'll be quiet. We'll mute ourselves and grab some coffee, and we will hand over to Adam and Richard um, from Wilmot Dixon. Uh, and then we will close and head into the main conference. So forthcoming meeting, meetings and events. Um, obviously before the 3rd of November is today's event. So make sure you're all plugged into the different stages during the course of the day. Um, our next event at the KCFG on the 3rd of November, we'll have Tony Watkins from Panatoni, which is talking about the development at Aylesford. And then you've got some virtual business networking events from the Chamber, the 13th of October, um, and then Countdown to Change uh, on the 16th of October. You can go onto the Chamber website and book on to any of those mm -hmm. events. Then we have an Expo update. Um, Nick, if you wouldn't mind giving us an update. Yes. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. And uh, it's great to be here on the morning of the Virtual Expo. Um, as was alluded to, it would be it is the 1st of October. It would be the start of the breakfast up at Detling today. As was said, it was raining all day yesterday, so probably not the best day. But anyway, just to give you an update, um, as you know, Revolution Events, we've been organising the event for two or three years on behalf of the Kent and Victor Chamber of Commerce. And every year we've been struck by what a fantastic show format it is. I mean, there's so much going on with it in terms of the breakfast, the VIP lunch, the stands, the gala dinner, the meet the buyer. It's just a great networking coming together place for the industry. Sadly, of course, you know, we haven't been able to run with October the 1st. We're now um, looking at a date. We will be running on June the 8th. So that's Tuesday, June the 8th, 2021, up at the Kent Event Centre. We're very grateful to the Kent Event Centre for being so flexible with moving their dates around. Um, so we're also very grateful to all our sponsors and exhibitors for sticking with us. Um, I think we went out with a notification about that in the last couple of days. So most of you should have had it if you've seen it in your inbox. If not, we'll probably be sending out another one. But June the 8th is the day. It's a Tuesday um, next year. So we very much look forward to getting together and having another great event, maybe kickstarting the industry as we come out of this pandemic and getting leads, getting contacts, getting relationships going again at the, the greatest construction show in the world. Kent Construction Expo. And don't forget, Nick, we are available as after dinner speakers. Yes, we're still looking for funny women, potentially, as oh, after dinner no. speakers. We've had, we've had You'll Frank have to watch Bruno. all day and see how we do. <laughs> Bruno, he was a bit punchy. We've had Martin Bayfield. So we're looking for anybody. I can't think of anyone. Can you? Maybe we should put it to a vote, Nick. If anyone wants to vote for Team Cello, please do feel free to you, put us forward. You know what we, we have to do is party until that point to have some stories to tell. <laughs> you know we can't afford you. Oh. <laughs> These are too expensive. But that's great. So uh, we look forward to it June the 8th. 
Get it in your diaries. It's Thank going you. to be sunny and warm. Sunny and warm. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be completely different. Sunny and warm. Exactly. Yeah. Bring, your, bring your sun cream. And we desperately hope the expo will go then because that will mean Glastonbury is going ahead. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be happy then. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank, thank you for the you. update, Nick. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, Andrew, you you're on. If you want to share your screen, I will do. Morning, He's everybody. Back. He's, He's back. He's back. back. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to where I saw it was a moot point whether I'm back or not. I'm still stuck okay, in France. Okay. You're with anyway. us online, Andrew. That's the main thing. Morning, everybody. Right, here we go. Eyes down for full house. So, <laughs> here's your economic overview. So, it's that Groundhog Day again, isn't it? Brexit. You want to share your screen? I am and, doing it. Sorry, sorry share. Your, your slideshow up. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Oh, it's you know how technical I can be. It's too early in the morning for me. I've not had enough coffee. Yeah, so, wow. Right. Coffee. <laughs> there you go. So, Groundhog Day, everybody. Brexit is back on the agenda. So is Operation mm -hmm. Stack. So, it's always a joy, isn't it? Anyway, so... Just a couple of things. There is the proposal for the Kent Rail Permit, <laughs> also known as a Kermit. Uh, so basically all seven and a half trucks, mm -hmm. ton trucks entering the county will now need a permit. Well, that's the proposal. Wow, I love, so, sorry, just butting in there, Andrew, but that's really cool, a Kermit. I know it's I not like cool Kermit. in terms of what it is, but. I'm, mm -hmm. a, I'm a big fan. The, the <laughs> problem is Kermit's, Kermit's quite cuddly. Unfortunately, the actual rail, uh, the road permit, so it should say road permit, not mm -hmm. rail permit. Um, they're, they're proposing to put in new software, new cameras, and trialling will begin mid-December. Given the fact that we've got a 31st deadline, I'm a bit concerned about that, and I think everybody else should be as well. Moving on, looking at the scale of the challenge facing us, still got a quarter of a million people across Kent and Medway furloughed. Um, an employment scheme, and unemployment is going up, so we're all going to have to sort of dig deep and uh, look for the positive, I think, to be honest, over the next couple of months, to say the least. In response to that, you should be all uh, be aware that Kent and Medway Economic Partnership and KCC have launched what they're calling the Economic Renewal and Resilience Plan. Um, it's available online by KCC in their economic development section. Uh, it's looking at greener futures, being productive and open, and better opportunities, fairer chances. It is quite broad brush, to be honest, uh, but there are some interesting elements in there that I think, as businesses in the construction sector, we should be looking at especially when it involves investment in terms of planning and investing now for a sustainable future. Um, so that's where that's worth a, a quick read if you've got insomnia. Um, in this challenge, uh, again, this is something that came up in a meeting I was at the other day. Um, unemployment of the 18 to 24s in Kent is now 10.2%. That's really quite shocking. And I think that's got massive implications in terms of skills for the sector. Reduction in apprenticeships, they're down by 75%, uh, and that, the impact of that is obviously going to be quite significant, as is the reduction in work experience placements. They're down 14,000, I think, so far. So at the moment, the government's brought out this lifetime skills guarantee, but you've got to be over 18 and without an A-level or an equivalent. So again, keep our eyes on that. Um, can I suggest that KCFG probably engages with the county's FE sector and we do a piece on what FEs can, can do to help um, the county's construction industry. Just on um, that, Andrew, in, there are speakers later today to talk about that as well. So take a that's look at that. Yes, that's, and that's on the main event, though, isn't it? Yes. I just wonder whether a breakfast might be a good idea or one of us, a speaker at one of the breakfasts. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's jumping if you need of, it. In terms of permissions granted, um, well, almost, they've got nine weeks to resolve highways issues. Well, that's no challenge, is it, really? sorting out highways in nine weeks oh. can be a big ask. But this is a big project for Tunbridge Wells. Um, 30 acres, 4,000 jobs uh, and, and new plus I. So it's a big operation. It's a big project. Um, and hopefully we'll get across the line in just over two months. Sad news, lights, camera and now no action, unfortunately. Uh, the big development that was proposed for the cinema site in the centre of Tunbridge Wells it's been put back on the market. So if you've got 17 million sloshing about in the, underneath the settee, then uh, it might be worth a punt. Um, it's been vacant as a site for 17 years. So uh, I don't think it's moving anywhere quickly. 
the website address at the bottom is if you're interested, uh, adsre.co.uk. Uh, and then next one. Right, investor conference. This is going to be a subject of the next month's uh, event. Panatoni Park Aylesford, they're Europe's largest independent um, industrial developer. 180 million pound project, site, 90 acres, really good project and planning has been submitted. Uh, and it also includes a six million pound link road. So again, another significant project for the county. Um, a free port in every storm. Can't beat a pun, can't beat a little hey, hey, the headline. So this is one to keep an eye on as well, because this has major implications, I think, for Kent, if we're successful. And I think as, as a group, as an organization, and also as a chamber, we'll be backing this. Um, Dover very cleverly have uh, worked with various partners across the country, not just in Kent, but also in the Midlands, arguing that with a global trade and innovation zone down at Dover, they'll be able to help the Midlands Engine and Northern Powerhouse. So it'll be a virtual free port because space obviously is limited down there. But a bid's expected in November. Uh, let's hope we get that across the line next year. Uh, also want to be aware of construction, uh, oh sorry, consultation on Kent Rail strategy. This one might have passed you by, unless again, you're an insomniac. Um, there is a webinar on the 13th of October that's being organized by KCC. There's the email address at the bottom to attend if you want to go there. Uh, it's talking about the next decade of investment for rail across the county. And obviously that has implications for development, investment and the construction industry. So again, worth a, worth a visit. Unfortunately, it's between six o'clock and eight o'clock at night. Can't quite understand that one, but hey, another long day in the office. And uh, another note for the diary, uh, Kent Property Market Report, 4th of November. Uh, there will be uh, invites going out. It's being, it's organized by Caxton's KCC and Locate in Kent. It is the event in terms of understanding what's going on in the property industry, looking backwards, but also looking forwards, uh, industrial, retail, residential, and everything else. And again, Understanding that gives you an understanding of what's going to happen in the construction industry. It will be virtual and it will start at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, and Kent and Victor Chamber of Commerce is looking after the Zoom conference on that, so it'll go swimmingly. Um, oh, and then this is it, final one, just a plug for me. I'm speaking between 1.30 and 2 o'clock today, promoting the positive and managing the negative to build strong rep reputations. So uh, there you go, that's me. I want to miss that one, Andrew. Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. hopefully a couple of gags, you never know. I might just wait. Listen to you, I'll, I'll, I'll stay off the wine until after that. How's oh, that? Oh no, ready? don't, don't. I will, no. uh, I've got to. <laughs> All right, there you go. That was it. That's from me. Okay. Thank you very Thank much, you Andrew. Very much. Bye.